Hello and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, Cy Pitway. Today on the show, we're not going to be doing a review, but we're just going to do a bit of group shooting uh, for a couple of friends on the Hunting Live forum who've asked how the rifles are performing. Now, the two rifles I'll be testing today are my two spring piston rifles. First one is going to be this one. This is my Sandwell Field Sports tuned Vermin Hunters TV Spectra Carbine. Kindly done for me and Davey by Tony Wall at Sandwell Field Sports. go. This is 2.2 calibre and on top I've got a Hawk Sidewinder 30 uh, and this is the 4 to 16 by 50 model with the new SR Pro reticle which is uh, proving to be an absolute exceptional reticle and far better uh, than the SR 12 I've used on my previous uh, rifles. So I'm really pleased with it. This one here I shoot Webley Accupel. Uh, I used to shoot H&N but Accupel actually work out better especially at range absolute phenomenal rifle balances really well you can shoot thumb up or thumb through I, I like the thumb through because I need to get better results with it they're, they're not fully running yet but the more I put through the better it's going to be so hopefully I'll better shoot something quite nice to show you on camera with that rifle I'll just rest it gently uh, and the other one I've got, uh, this one here, is my 177 calibre Walnut Aero Arms Pro Sport. And on top, I've got a Hawk Sidewinder Tac 30 with the half milled up reticle. Uh, this is the 4.5 to 14 by 44 scope. Excellent scope. Side focus, same as the other one I've got. Uh, and obviously, got, both got slings on. Balances really well for me as well. Uh, so, this one's only had probably 30 40 pellets through it maximum maybe less uh, but I've been lucky and I found the right pellet straight away which is the IWS Superfield and hopefully I'll better prove that to you uh, in a little while so mortars you asked me how the IWS Superfield group hopefully I'm going to better show you uh, mortars as a friend from the Hunting Life Forum Right, to assist me in shooting the groups I'm about to do, I'm using my front rifle rest, which is this one here, uh, which on top has got a nice rubber pad here, and all I do then is rest my hand, uh, or I should say the palm on the rubber bit, and then the stock on my hand. Uh, and then at the back I've got my green polystyrene ball filled bag, uh, which just supports the rear end of the actual rifle itself, and my laser range finder to make sure I'm bang on 27.3 or 27 yards so it only goes to the yard but this should give me a good chance of shooting a good group here see there's a blue dot in the middle of the card that will be my point of aim and if at the end of the five shots I need to adjust the group to get a finer zero I will do These pellets are Webby Acupels. A really nice trigger on this. Tony's done an excellent job tuning it. Safe to catch. That's three shots basically. Gone through the same hole. Four 
for making a, a ragged one all group. This is where I mess it up because I'm notoriously good at messing the last shot up. There you go. That's a rifle what's not even fully bedded in. Tuned by Tony Wall at Sandwell Field Sports. Shooting five shots in 22 calibre for the same old 27.3 yards. We're going to have a look at that. Well, this is the group now laid on the table. Uh, and you can see my aim point was there and the groups fell here. So I need to come probably down a click. But five shots in three holes is not too bad. And if I put the five pence piece at the side of it, like so, you can probably see the five pence piece is probably uh, maybe a quarter bigger. So the group's about three quarter size of a five pence piece. Which for a rifle, what's not fully bedded in yet, and especially in 2.2 calibre, uh, is pretty phenomenal accuracy, especially at this range. If I move the 5P over the aim point and the group, the five shots, you can see it's covered quite easily. This sort of results from getting here is what I'd expect to get from a rifle tuned by Tony Wall at Sandwell Field Sports. He's done my 97 to stage 2 and that's phenomenal. That'll put five shots under a five pence piece at 50 meters as I've proven on other clips. Uh, and I've had other rifles off them in the past like my Spectra Carbine uh, which was I believe a Webley tuned Sandwell Field Sports Special. Uh, and I've had a, a 97K and also a 95K tuned by Tony. Uh, and they've all been EP sectional rifles. So if this rifle can do this five shots with three holes when it's not fully run in, can you imagine what it's going to be like when it's running at its most consistent power reading? When it is fully running, it's going to be absolutely staggering. And all those were shot with these Webley Acupels. I'm starting to lose the the light now on this camera. It's not a night shot camera at all. So I'm going to try and get this through as quick as possible. Same thing then, I'm going to shoot, keeping the crosshair on the centre of the blue patch, uh, see where the group falls and then adjust if need be. Shouldn't be too far out because I've been using this today. Only thing what I've done to this rifle today other than shoot it is to just adjust the trigger for my liking. So I've shot on the first stage uh, and reduced a bit of the creep what was on the second. Still running in, like I said. But you can still be capable of making a little cluster like it has done so far. It's the second pro sport I've had. First one I had was a 22 calibre. I believe personally that this is the best rifle what you can buy straight out of the box. Better than a Virac. I even find it better than a TX. I've shot a couple of TXs. But these are just phenomenal. There's only one rifle or type of rifle I say other than a PCP would match or even better this and that would be something tuned by Tony Wall. There you go, look, that's 
five shots, rifle's not even running. And because it's 177, you get a really tiny little group. We're going to look at this now. Well, here's the group then I've just shot with the Air Arms Pro Sport. Five shots. See, my aim point was there and it fell just to the left, so I need to come click right. Uh, put a five pence piece at the side of it. Uh, and you can see again, it's probably uh, half, maybe three quarters the size of the five pence piece. And if I move it over, it covers the aim point quite easily. And also the whole five shots, no problem whatsoever. So that's a rifle yet again, straight out of the box, uh, but this time uh, not tuned. And this is why I say uh, Pro Sport for me is probably the best rifle you can buy uh, to shoot straight out of the box. It does shoot, as you can see, like a tuned rifle. But what's interesting though is if I just zoom out a little bit. So come out to the table, move this, uh, and then find the other group I've just shot, which was five shots in 2-2. Two -two. If I fold fold it over, oh, that tried to make it look bigger than it already is, like so, put them next to each other, you can see that the two t five shots in 2.2 two are almost as small as the five shots in 177 that's how tight the uh, group shot with the Sandor Field Sports tuned rifle and that actually looks bigger now than it actually is due to me bending the card so that's phenomenal accuracy from the rifle from Tony Wall What I'm going to do now, just finish off before the, the light goes all together for this camera, is on the top you'll see I've took these two bottle tops from like the Volvic water bottle tops, but on top I put two dog biscuits. These dog biscuits are about a millimetre or two bigger than a five pence piece, so I'm going to attempt them with the Sandwell Field Sports Verminantis TV Spectra. Two shots, two dog biscuits. As I've said, Tony Wall's work is phenomenal. Here's some of these dog biscuits what I've just shot then. Uh, and there's a 5p, just to give you some reference to show you. I wasn't lying. The tiny, tiny dog biscuits. And that Sandwell Field Sports rifle hits them with ease. Absolutely phenomenal. Right, I want to show you how well this Spectra carbine from Tony Wall balances at my shoulder. I'm going to attempt one of them blue Volvic bottle tops. From where I'm now, it's about 24 meters away, but from the standing unsupported. Like so absolutely easy stays on target you know and that's no mean feat to do that uh, but this rifle really helps the balance see if I can get the other one
like that. Two straight after each other. Quality, quality rifle.